Hey YouTube, I'm going to try to quiet my case down by replacing my old Zalman cooler with this Reven Brontes. So let's do it. And this was just adhesive on. There we go. There, out with the old. This piece of plastic obviously has to be removed before I apply thermal paste. Comes with some instructions and installation brackets and screws. So it's compatible with socket 775. Um, Intel LGA 775, 1150 anything, 1150, 51, 55, uh, 1366, AMD socket AM1s. It comes set up for um, LGA 11 5X, so anything that starts with uh, 115, which is me, so that makes my life easier. So, we'll need to grab the brackets. They're really jammed in here. Comes with thermal paste, which is great. Pretty much every cooler does now. You used to have to buy the Arctic Silver. This comes with some Reben branded thermal grease. Just gonna need these brackets. These are the ones I need for Intel. And these tiny screws that come in their own separate bag are to attach the brackets to the cooler right here. And then these screws that have the rubber washers pre-installed, they should be pre-installed, but if they aren't, they are to go on the screws like this, and then they're supposed to be installed on the bottom of the board. So, unlike my last cooler that had this big bracket that had to stick to the bottom of the board, this one is just these rubber things are going to go through here. These rubber screws with the washers. Like, yeah. I'm going to go like that. So, that'll be pretty cool. In the meantime, need to set the cooler up for installation. So, 
So this is uh, pretty important. So when you install the brackets on this faceplate, you want them like this so that these stands go this way. I think I'm ex I think you can see. You want it like this. Hopefully you see what I'm saying. Not like this. And it's not like you could only do it one way. You could install them either way, but the right, the right way is like this. And um, a uh, quick way to tell, I guess there is um, an indicator because the holes right here are recessed a little bit right here for screw heads because I'm going to end up screwing those in right now. So let's do that. I don't want to remove this plastic where I'm going to apply the thermal paste until it's time to do so, so that it doesn't pick up oils from my fingers or dust or anything like that. So, but I do need it to go under the plastic, make sure I can remove it. I can see uh, RAM clearance as being an issue with these low profile coolers. It was with this as well. Um, so I had to get low, lower profile RAM when I first built, built this case. want to be careful um, so here's here's an indicator that you're installing these the right side up that these screw heads should recess into the metal they're tapped so that that happens and I want to make sure that I can still pull this plastic back when I need to didn't want to get it pinched in there So, if you're installing a different, um, a different kind of an Intel cooler, uh, you have to shift. There's a little section of the bracket that can shift in or out. It's already set up for mine, so I don't need to do that. But you may need to adjust that on yours. Um, and then, of course, if you're using AMD or whatever, you got whole other bracket types that you can mount to this. So read the instructions that came with it for your CPU type. I think I'm 1156 or 1155. LGA 1155 if I remember right. It's been months or years since I've looked or cared. This plastic on this side actually overlaps the screw holes more than the other side, so I do have to make sure I slide under there and then I'll peel it back to be able to screw it down like this.
just enough to be able, just holding it back, uh, you're probably to get the screw heads under that plastic. Cool. We're set up to rock. Make sure it's on, they're tightened up. Hey, cut it out. No, bar no barking. And then um, this is a great time to test to make sure that you have the right brackets installed because, and to make sure your ram height is going to accommodate what you're shooting for. Because it has to line up with these four holes exactly. So I need to make sure that it does. And it might be easier on the back to look through and see. Obviously it's not installed this way, I just I can make sure that the holes are perfectly over this way. And they are. So, like I said, these screws are going to be on this side. They're going to come through and thread into here this way. All right. Use some rubbing alcohol. dry. It's going to go like this. Peel away this plastic. Grab my thermal paste. Thermal paste is tiny amount, does it? Tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Size of a pea. They give you way too much. That is probably too much. There, that's better. That's all you need. Argue with me in the comments. Is a tiny bit. Put it right down there. I can see my screw holes. So I'm very happy with that. Hand thread first, it's a touch thing. Hand thread, hand thread. So I am just 
Yeah, I'm threading diagonals, which is going to be compressing that plate against the CPU and smearing, compressing that thermal grease between the two. And now, always tighten in diagonals to make sure it's coming down evenly so that it's not coming down like this or like this. You want it to be like, er, 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 er. try to keep it going on as quickly as possible, or as evenly, as parallel throughout as possible. not want to crack the board. You do not want to over tighten this thing. You just want it to be tight enough to stop turning and that is enough. You're not going to see me get up here and crank down on it. You just want it to be tight and done. Like that one is. You can't get any more than that then that's fine just with your fingertips. Great. There we have it. Clearing the RAM. Hopefully I still have room for my video card. Let's take a look at that. Oh yeah. It'll be tight, but we are in business. Yep. Video card will go right there. Comes with a four prong connector header. Plugs into my board right here. There you have it, the Reven Brontes, super low profile. This thing is way lower than this thing was. Boom, the Zellman stood up like that. All right, hopefully that was helpful.